seconds for instead you can just listen to the show from beginning to end and enjoy yourself that'll also help people find the show who have an interested in hand radio here on youtube i'd like to thank you for coming to a very special show for you today i really do yeah in fact <laughs> in, in the words of ed sullivan this one right here would be called a really big show we have a big show for you tonight see told you about that i want to tell you about a really special product today this is cool a lot of people want to run power. And the problem is power is expensive, right? You can start out with a tube amp. 811H by Ameritron is the best bang for the buck there is in amateur radio. By far, it's just phenomenal for the money it costs to get 800 watts. But say you don't want to mess with tubes anymore. You're, just, you're sick of it. You just want to do a solid state amp. No tune, no muss, no fuss. Take a look at this. This is the Ameritron ALS 600. This thing is an absolute brainchild. It really is. No tuning. No tuning at all. And it does 6 through 160. That's right. All the way from the bottom to the top, which your radio is going to work. And it's going to track your radio on the bands that it's on automatically. Just like a little puppy dog following you. There's going to be absolutely no lag to it. Just changes, lickety split. Now, the good thing about the ALS 600 is you don't have to rewire your shack. It uses less than 12 amps at 100, 110 volts. And if you've got 220, hey, you're going to run less than 6 amps at 230 volts. That's the ALS 600 from Ameritron. Fantastic product. Let's say you want a little bit more. Now, the ALS 600, believe it or not, that's going to bring you one and a quarter S units more on your power. But maybe, just maybe, you want a little bit more power out there. Uh, uh, uh. So now you're going to want something like the ALS 1306. This is a honey. I've got one of these, and I'll tell you, it is the best amplifier I've ever had. Wire for 220, but it will work on 110. Now, it draws less than 25 amps, so, you know, you really want to use this at 220, but you can if you've got a lot of amperage in your in your shack. It draws less than 25 amps at 110 volts, but at 220, look at this, drops less than 12 amps to run this thing to nearly full legal limit. Comes with a hash-free, fully regulated switching power supply that will fit easily on your desk. It's only 12 pounds. It, it just measures 12 wide by six and a half high and nine and a half deep. The amp itself weighs only 22 pounds, and it's designed to be fixed if it breaks. Yes, you heard that. It can be fixed. The amp weighs only 22 pounds. It's 10 wide by 6.5 high and 18.5 inches deep. I'm going to show you the LS 1306 in action and give you an idea to see exactly how it works. I'm going to show you in a different way here. First of all, let me show you what's paired with. This is Sherwood's number one transceiver on the market right now in the Yaesu FTDX 101 Delta. All right. We're going to show you right now how this band switches automatically. It literally makes your radio up to a 1200 watt radio. You just select where you want to work, use a resonant antenna, and you're going to be golden. Your radio is literally going to be whatever watt you set it for on the 1306. Right now we're at top banded 1.8700. Let's move up to 80 meters. Watch what happens. See that? The 1306 is built in with special circuitry to use a cable from your transceiver. No matter what transceiver it is, there's a cable for it, and it's going to switch that amplifier. You move up to 60 and then 40. You keep going up, and look, it just keeps on transferring up automatically wherever you go. This amplifier will follow you and be ready to go lickety split. And the thing that really gets me about this amplifier is I'm going through all the bands here. What I love about this is really the cost. 
The cost of this is about 3,500 bucks. Get you almost two S units and almost full legal limit. Now, let's take a look over here on 20 meters. Great signal. It's on the road. It shut down and uh, no damage to it, Devil. You can see how high that signal yeah, is. Now, this is a QSO that's been going on for quite a long time. I don't want to bust into it, but I'll tell you, I could if I wanted to on this because this truly is an amplifier. It's going to get you out there. I've heard myself coast to coast and all the way into Australia with no problem at all using the 1306. It will work brilliantly on 220, and I'd recommend you use it for this amplifier. Again, switch bands. Wait, 40 meters is hot. Go there. You're automatically on 40. No tuning, nothing to worry about. It simply just works. The ALS 1306 or the ALS 600, I think the 600 is the best solid state buy there is in the market. Have you checked the prices of amplifier solid states? I mean, you can pay six grand for a 1500 watt one, or you could spend 35 and buy this with a full one year warranty and quality and the ability to repair it. And then you've got $1,500 left over to get yourself something pretty nice or maybe something good for your wife so she'll be happy that you didn't spend so much money on the amplifier. That's the ALS 1306 made by Maritron. It's the most amazing bang for the buck in a solid state app you can find on the market. Thanks for watching, everybody. Ham Radio Live is brought to you Monday through Sunday at 1900 UTC. It's our pleasure to bring you the show. Thanks for watching. God bless you. And goodbye.